welcome cancers i'm back again with another video for you guys i'm so thrilled to be back guys um we're going to do the remainder of august okay so we're going to do a quick run through from august the 15th through the remainder of august which is through august the 31st guys but before we get jumped into this guys i do want to welcome my newcomers welcome 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 y'all go ahead and click the bell to subscribe um because you don't want to miss out on videos future videos all right so Oh, yeah. I want to let you guys know as well about my new product that I have, guys. This has been like, y'all, this has been working wonders, okay? This is something, um, this is a traditional recipe for the money magnet oil. Um, I did put a few extra oomph on it, did my own little twist to it. Um, but this is going to be for sale, guys. U.S. orders only at this time. Um just at this time i'll let you guys know when i'm able to ship you know other places but right now only u.s orders um possibly for like for this week next week i'll be working on orders for canada and you know other places but y'all this oil here guys you could use this oil because i know some everybody doesn't know how to use intention intention oils okay so I like to dab it on my hands when I'm doing, you know, important, dealing with important documents or when I'm meeting new people or when I'm on a business venture, guys. Um, if there's a new business idea that I want to start, you know, I use this on my candles when I'm doing, um, you know, money workings, um, things to that nature. Anything that's going to attract me abundance, anything that's going to attract um, money, okay? This is for the gamblers, okay? People who love to go to the casinos, all right? I've had some people who have utilized this oil in so many different ways, guys. Um, there's no there's no one way to use this oil, okay? You can tap it in your shoe. You can put it on your wallet, your purse, dab a little bit. You can even wear it as a fragrance. It smells just like money, okay? So... If you would like to purchase this, it's going to be a $22 bottle um, that does include shipping. All right. So let me know if you would like to purchase this um, money magnet oil. Money magnet oil. Subtracting abundance luck. Um, things to that nature, y'all. New business ventures, new business ideas. Um, like I said, this is an intentional oil. So it's definitely good for uh, baths um, as well as um candle magic okay all right so let's get started cancers cancer 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 let's see what we got this is going to be a quick read guys i'm not going to take up too much of your time this is going to be a really quick read okay so let's see what message we have for the remainder of august for my cancer cancer sun moon rising cancers what messages do you have for cancers some of y'all may be a little fussy i have a little cousin that's in up front that's really fussy right now i don't know why but if you guys hear like baby sounds and stuff i have a um a cousin that's up front and i'm sorry if y'all have an issue with it but i'm not starting my video over i'm already in too deep so let's go all right let's get it this is going to be for cancer sun moon and rising all right so at the bottom of the deck guys we got the page of cups pisces cancer scorpio's energy all right and i also see the hermit card okay so some of you guys may be isolating yourself, doing some soul searching, um, may have ghosted someone or someone has ghosted you. I feel like with the Ten of Swords here, there may have been an ending, a cutoff. Uh, I'm feeling like somebody um, is kind of like, you know, uh, distancing themselves or stop communicating. All right. So we got the Six of Wands. That's the first card. All right. Great energy. Great energy. The King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, we got the Two of Swords. Okay, and we have the Temperance. We also have the Six of Pentacles. And we also have the Hangman. Okay, so it looks like 
Some of you could be dealing with uh, Sagittarius here with the Temperance card. And I got Pisces here with the Hangman. But it looks like you're waiting for, to you're waiting to get someone's attention or something to that nature. Okay. Why is the Six of Wands here? Six of Wands is success and victory. Um, being recognized, um, being in the public eye. Why is the Six of Wands here? Being respected, being loved, being adored, admired. But then we got that Two of Swords up there. So I definitely want to see what that's about. Yeah, we got the Nine of Swords. Somebody wants to be, wants some attention bad. Okay, somebody wants somebody's attention really, really bad. I'm getting, it could be between two people. I'm getting that storyline. I'm getting that there's possibly a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. I'm getting that as well, too. But somebody wants somebody's attention, like, really, really bad. Um, why is the two of, yeah, see, the Seven of Cups came out. Somebody in the Two of Pentacles, yes. Somebody wants some attention really really bad like i'm getting like someone's like really crazy here what is this okay why is the two of swords here why is the two of swords two of swords please okay the ace of swords you're not sure if something um okay so somebody's not talking or doesn't want to talk about the past I feel like you guys may be ready to close a chapter or you did close a chapter in the past. I do see with the Six of Cups, the World, and the Ten of Swords that something was completely over. Ooh, and the Tower. Like, yeah, like something uh, abruptly happened. Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but somebody who's very flighty. Somebody made a final decision that they were going to cut things off and it was just kind of like out of the blue. Somebody out of the blue cut something off. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Maybe you haven't heard from this person. Um, why is the Ace of Swords here? Six of Swords, yeah. I, I'm, I feel like some of you guys may feel like somebody has ghosted you or you ghosted someone with the Eight of Cups. And this was something that happened abruptly. Like, out, out of the blue. Because their energy is possibly, like, this Knight of Wands energy. Like, they're always kind of, like, coming back around. Why is the Six of Pentacles? No, why is this King of Cups here? The Tower. Yeah, see, Scorpio's energy. But something out of the blue, something happened all of a sudden. Like, somebody's feelings could be crushed. Um, because they aren't getting any attention. Somebody, someone hasn't reached out or called or contacted them for sex, possibly, with the devil and the sun. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Leo and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is a uh, offer, you know, an exchange in regards to sex. So this could be like a sexual um, chemistry. Could be off the charts. But I'm definitely getting like sexual energy. I got the Temperance card here, which is Sagittarius energy. Why is the Tempest card here? Some of y'all could be smoking a lot, like trying to ease y'all mind. Why is the Tempest card here? The world. Queen of Pentacles. So it looks like you're trying to uh, mask this with work or career um, to keep you balanced. But I feel like some of y'all are freaking out. Um, you're not sure what to say or... You're not sure what to say to someone or you haven't spoken to this person. Um, why is the Six of Pentacles in the past? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups energy. You've been getting some information or some downloads. But it looks like there's a holdup going ahead. Like things are just in the air. Why is the hangman here? Like you feel like there's delays. Okay, the Ace of Wands. You're waiting for them to offer you something. 
Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands, it looks like communication or you're going to be reaching out to this person or someone is going to be reaching out to you. Um, they have an offer here, but the offer could be like take a long time to get to you or the, it's a very small offer. Why is the Three of Cups here? I feel like you, some of y'all feel like abandoned or left out in the cold. Okay, so let me get this straight. It looks like you haven't spoken to someone. Um, and it's kind of like driving you crazy that you haven't spoke to this person. You're actually surprised that, you know, you haven't spoken with this person. Um, it looks like things are kind of like just in the air. Like you're waiting for this person to approach you um, in some way, shape or form. But it looks like, like you feel like you don't have any friends or that you don't fit in. With the three of cups and the, and the five of pentacles like you feel like rejected or like you don't feel in uh, fit in why is the five of pentacles here the six of cups okay so this was past energy this is something that you felt in the past like but i feel like the times are changing like you're trying to shift that energy redirect that energy how they view you we got the page of pentacles so that's communication and talks about money. But we got the depth card, Scorpio's energy. They're saying that they haven't spoken to you. Okay. I haven't spoken to you. Mine's the three of pentacles here. Okay. So maybe this is a work-related situation um, where this is going on at work. Like you aren't speaking to someone at work and you're trying to get their attention. Um, with the three of pentacles there, this in your hopes and fears, this is saying that this is a, you know, a, a situation that involves two or two or three people um, where someone has to work together in a team effort, um, a group setting. Why is the three of pentacles here? Yeah, the seven of swords. Someone's afraid that someone's going to take their position or take their role. Um, why is the seven of swords here? Yeah, the seven of swords here. Steal their information, steal their ideas, try to steal their business. Why is it seven of swords here? Four of swords. You could also be, you know, tired. If this is a love, love related, you possibly are even tired of feeling or being lied to. And the hierophant is Taurus's energy, but this is the outcome. Why is the hierophant here? This is some type of commitment. And the moon here. Pisces and you guys' energy. Okay. Okay, a wish come true. Nine of Cups and the Star card here. Okay, so maybe you want to make some type of commitment or you want this person to make a commitment to you. Why is the moon card here? Yeah, Nine of Cups came out again. Your intuition is telling you that this person is going to call. Um... And you want to be ready. You want to do the right thing. You want to have something, a system set up. You want to have something set up. Why is the Nine of Cups here? For when they do call, you want to have something going. Why is the Nine of Cups here? For some of you, yeah, Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, yeah. So this is possibly definitely in regards to work life, um, building an empire, working towards a business or something to that nature. But the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, that's, you know, wanting stability, wanting an opportunity, um, you know, trying to stay a step ahead. King of Wands, lots of fire here. Um, and the Lovers here at the bottom of the deck. So Gemini's energy as well as King of, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, but I'm getting, I'm getting that you want to, you want to move accordingly. Like you want to be a step ahead. I'm getting, i from all of this, I'm really gathering that you haven't spoken to somebody and you're kind of surprised that they haven't reached out or said anything to you. All right. They normally possibly, you know, giving you lots of love and affection and attention, but lately they kind of like, you know, giving you the cold shoulder. You really don't know what's going on. Um, and I feel like your response is like, what? <laughs> what? You was just all over me. You was just, you know, what's going on now? All right, so that's going to be the read that I have for you guys today, all right? So let me know um, if this message resonated with you. 
and I will chat with you guys later. And if you want to purchase your money oil, guys, you can contact me via email. That information is going to be in the drop box below. Um, and you can also comment in the comment section below and um, one of my assistants will see it and we'll do our best to, you know, direct you to how to order this, okay? If you want to book your very own personal reading, guys, that information is in the drop box below as well. Contact me via email. We'll get you set up. All right, until next time, ciao.